Hello Cancer, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to tap into the true feelings of the person that is on your mind when it comes to love. This is a timeless reading and it is for every Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's go ahead and get into these messages. Alright, so can you messages please in regards to the person that... Is on Cancer's mind at the time that Cancer watches this reading. What are that person's true feelings for Cancer at the time that Cancer watches this reading? Two more shuffles. All right, so let's see what comes out here. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have withdrawn. So they feel like you're being distant, okay? They may feel as though you just want to be left alone. This person feels as though they're losing you or that they've already lost you. Wow. So this person is in their feelings. For some of you, they are going through depression. They could be depressed about what's going on between the two of you, but this person could have a lot going on in their life as well. This person feels like they messed up. They feel as though you want them to leave you alone or you just want to be left alone, okay? But at the same time, they feel like they messed up with you and they're in their feelings about it. For some of you, they feel as though you're dismissing them or that you're abandoning the connection. Wow. Someone feels like they messed up with you. That's all it is to it. I'm going to leave those here. Give me more. What are this person's true feelings for cancer? At the time that cancer watches this reading. Hmm. So we have chemistry. So this person feels as though the two of you have a lot of passion between one another. They also feel as though there's a lot of attraction. They're definitely attracted to you. There's something about this connection that's different from others that they've experienced. But see, loyalty just came out crossing. So there's an issue with trust here. You may either feel as though this person isn't reliable or you feel like they lie too much. Hmm. Give me more. What are this person's two feelings for cancer? All right, so we have chasing and that card came out in reverse. So for some of you, they feel like you're done pursuing this. They may even feel as though you've given up. Some of you may feel like this person's toxic, okay? There's something about this person that's toxic. Divine Feminine is at the bottom of the deck right next to karma. For some of you, you are this person's karma, okay? You're their karma, if you've decided to walk out on this connection, they'll never meet anyone else like you. They'll search for your energy in others, but they won't be able to find it. Wow. You are this person's karma. Ooh, and right next to karma is broken. This card reads shattered, heartbroken, destroyed. Ooh, this person has some bad karma coming toward them for... Doing wrong by a divine feminine or divine masculine. My goodness. Karma is about to tear this person up. This person could have broken your heart or they hurt you in some way, shape, or form. And there's going to be consequences in regards to that. Wow. That's deep. Let's get one more card here. Give me one more card. What are this person's true feelings for cancer? At one point in time, some of you could have been chasing this person, but you're not doing that anymore. We have family here. So now for a few of you, and this isn't for everyone, but for a few of you, you could have children with this person. Okay. Now, even if you don't have children with them, they just see you as someone that would be good to have a family with. Okay. But some of you are releasing this. Wow. Wow. Huh. Also, if you are able to have children, um, this person may have thought about having children with you. Wow. 
So let's see what will be the outcome between the two of you. What will be the outcome between Cancer and this person? What will be the near future outcome between the two of them? Releasing. You're done. Some of you are done. You're going to end up letting this go or you've already let it go. I feel like you guys are going to continue moving on or you're going to end up walking away. Time is right next to that. So I do feel like this person is hoping that it'll only be a matter of time before the two of you find your way back to one another. But some of you feel like this needs to be let go of. This could even be someone that hurts you deeply. Okay, if you were hurt by this person, I do feel as though you're going to heal from that because releasing fell out right on top of sorrow. So it's just to me, it's just symbolic of you releasing sorrow, you releasing the hurt, releasing the pain that this person may have caused you. Wow, you're done. They still want to be with you, but you're done. And this person's going to be receiving some karma in regards to how they did you. And I feel like that karma is going to be affecting their heart space. My goodness. And it possibly could even affect their abundance as well. For some of you, it could even affect their looks. So you may notice that this person looks start to go downhill. Wow. All right, so Cancer, that is your reading. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care, be safe. Until next time, bye.